Κύριε Φλουρέτζου, ευχαριστούμε. I... I try to be a little bit provocative so that we can be <laughs> more awake. So I choose a title, um, European Mythology and Hellenic Reality about Zero Energy Buildings. Uh, I, I had the experience to, to design, to, to, to co-design with architects, uh, uh, low energy buildings, passive buildings, in the Swiss climate and in the, in the Cypriot climate. So I have the experience of both, uh, of both realities. And um, I tried to, when we speak about mythology, I had a, pro a professor telling that uh, mythology is a set of um, beliefs uh, helping people uh, who want to sell something and that people don't will uh, to accept it and buy it. So, uh, <laughs> It's not uh, everything real, but uh, something between real and, uh, and imaginary. I tried to, to read the imaginary of the people who, who created the European mythology of uh, low energy buildings, and I, I found a constant. Uh, the symbol is always a, a, a house. Uh, and if I see Athens from uh, Google Earth, for example, I see very little, uh, a, a very, a very few um, uh, houses. I see a lot of uh, multi-story buildings. And we, we see also that uh, 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 energy conservation is to conserve heat. And in, in, uh, in, in the Hellenic reality, heat is one aspect of the, of the story. Uh, energy, you see there the, the symbolism. Uh, the International a a Energy Agency is international. It is also for uh, for Greece and for Egypt and for uh, for uh, Germany, for uh, Scandinavia. But you see, the, the building is sim they changed it. <laughs> uh, so energy conservation in Europe is sought to conserve heat. The symbol of the building is a single family house. And uh, yes, we can see, we can read this, uh, these beliefs in the in the symbols they use to to communicate. And I try to construct my reasoning about the to, to break this uh, to 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 kill these ideas because in in uh, in the Greek reality uh, is very bad thing to construct or to import or to to copy things that are designed for to do other other things. So. Uh, the little house in the prairie is a net zero energy building, and uh, you know the the generation ruling the world today. They all of them they dream together with the with the Ingalls uh, family, and uh, uh, the dream is to have your own single uh, family house. And if it is a zero energy building, you are in today. Uh, so. Let's see the passive uh, building in, in cold euro, how, 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 how we can uh, describe it in little work. So it's um, 30 centimeters of thermal insulation, triple glazing, low E, uh, and no thermal breaches for the envelope. We have a how high air tightness, 0.5. Air changes in 50 pascal. You, you put 50 pascal and you have less than 0 0.5 uh, uh, air changes so that, the, uh, so that the air handling unit and the heat recovery is, uh, is, are working in, 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 an optimum, in an optimal conditions. Uh, we have solar collectors for hot water and heat pump or good boiler for heat protection. If you take all these, uh, all these um, uh, labels, more or less, they promote the same thing uh, for the single family house. So a passive building consumes less than 50 kilowatt hours per square meters of primary energy for heating, cooling, and ventilation in hot water. And a zero energy building, it's a passive building heated by um, renewable energy. In fact, you reduce so much the, the energy demand and you can use uh, the available uh, the, the available uh, renewable energy uh, to, to cook.
cool or to heat or to, to light your, your building. I take three examples of Minergy buildings. It's a, an eco di district, district we are designing now, seven, seven multi-story buildings, uh, a ground floor plus eight uh, stories. So half of them will be Minergy and half of them Minergy P, it means passive and uh, almost 30,000 square meters of social housing. I take a, a, village, uh, a village house which is a refurbishment and a new uh, twin villa which was constructed in uh, France and it is uh, Mina GP, like Mina GP is the same thing as passive house, just the, the label that changes. So I, I see how much they consume for of primary energy, and uh, um, what uh, what they use. So the multi-story buildings is 29 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. They have 22 centimeters of uh, insulation. We have a district heating because we have seen that the energy need for for heating was of the same order of the energy need for hot water, so if we use uh, half of energy to, to heat water, this means that we can find this energy in the sewage. So we collect all the sewage in a single place, you see, the, you see it there, and there is a heat pump with a, heat, uh, with a coefficient of performance of 4.5, uh, um, uh, recovering the, and producing almost 70% of the, of the necessary heat. So the, the, the village house, has eight uh, centimeters of uh, thermal insulation. It was uh, insulated uh, 10 years, uh, 15 years ago. Uh, so in that time, uh, today maybe they could put to 12 or 16 for the walls, and it has 16 centimeters for the roof. It has 5.5 square meters of solar uh, collectors for hot water. Demand control ventilation for, with the humidity uh, adjustment and it consumes 20, uh, 12 uh, cubic meters of wood per year to, to, to heat the building. So the, the, the single family house, we, we are 25 kilowatt hours per square meter. It has 20, 38 uh, centimeters of insulation of cellulose plus five centimeters of, of uh, insulation uh, uh, gla glass wool to cover all the thermal bridges of the of the wood because wood also is <laughs> is a thermal bridge in this uh, in these performances. Seven square square meters of solar uh, what, uh, hot water, 80% heat recovery uh, unit, and a heat pump of COP 3.5. It's a it's a um, uh, air air heat pump air air heat pump. When we constructed this in 2009, there was no heat pump of three kilowatts, which was the need, and we put a heat pump of 10 kilowatts because there, there was not such a, a product in the, in the market. Today you can find. So I tried to see how can I transform these passive buildings in, in uh, zero energy buildings. Um, j 10 minutes before the, you, you okay. Uh, 10, so I can accelerate. <laughs> so um, if I add 140 square meters of, uh, of photovoltaics in my multi-story building, it's the maximum that we can uh, uh, put on this, uh, on this roof. I produce nine, uh, nine kilowatt hours per square meter because I have a a uh, lot of floors to, to feed with my energy, so uh, it is not possible to, to get zero energy buildings, and I only pass from uh, 29 to 20 kilowatt hours per square meter. The, um, the village house, although it is uh, at 47 kilowatt hours per square meter because it is a, um, because it is a renovation, uh, it has a garage, uh, a big garage, uh, a, big, a big annex uh, in, the, in, the, in the yard because it's in the village and there is a lot of space. And they put 48 square meters and it, it gets uh, z the, the label of zero energy building, although it consumes more than the, um, the, the massive and uh, low, low uh, form factor um, uh, building, uh, the high-rise building. And the single family house, 
Also, we can use 25 square meters. You can see what surface it represents, and we get zero kilowatt hours per square meter. If we put the complete roof, then we can also have light, and it, it could be completely uh, autonomous. So, conclusion. <laughs> Should we construct, I, instead of conclusion, I, I put some questions. Uh, should we construct small buildings in order to have uh, uh, enough available surface for solar collectors? Or in order to have um, energy produced in, in, in the building perimeter, should we promote the photovoltaic system on facades with 30% less uh, efficiency instead of uh, remote renewable energy, instead of installing this uh, these photovoltaics in the um, outside the city, the city, for example, we should put them uh, put them on the facade. Um, why should uh, choose zero energy buildings and not and not uh, minus 13, for example, as a number, or uh, or uh, minus 25 or uh, plus uh, 12? I don't know. Zero. It's an arbitrary <laughs> number. It's very good for communication, but is communication the reason? Of, of conducing our acts is just some questions to to, to think about. So the, build, the the building of the second half of hydrocarbon age, uh, uh, we consumed also half of the half of the reserves, and now we are entering after the peak oil in the second half of the <laughs> of the of this era. Uh, should uh, go beyond symbols and green communication. We need green communications without. We, 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 we need our mythology. Without mythology, without mythology, we don't have dreams, and we, we, we cannot imagine things uh, to go over. But we have to be uh, also rational and try to do uh, actions that have a, a certain sense. Um, zero energy building cannot be an extrapolation of zero energy uh, single family house. Unfortunately, from my experience, a lot of decisions, no, lot of um, a lot of products that are promoted in the market, uh, we are developed. Even a lot of norms and, and, and calculation tools are, are imagined for for a single family house, and we try to extrapolate for the other houses. And so, sometimes it gives uh, nonsense, and we will see some of this nonsense. I take a, a, not a, a mythological building, but a, the the previous era <laughs> of petrol building in uh, Lefkosia and in Bern. So both of them consume uh, nine, 192 kilowatt hour per square meter. One is, has no insulation, the other has a four centimeter insulation, uh, and both of them, they need a boiler to burn, to burn oil and heat it. Uh, bo uh, both of them, uh, they are. I, I forget about single-family houses, and I take uh, office buildings. <laughs> so uh, we reason on another object, and both of them have uh, air conditioning. One, a lot of air conditioning; the other, less. And we see that in Lefkosia, even now, air conditioning is less than heating uh, uh, for existing buildings. So in the first half of hydrocarbon age, European and Greek engineers and market have more or less the same problem to solve. Uh, efficient boilers, uh, efficient uh, uh, distribution, and uh, try to put some more insulation to save energy so we can communicate and uh, Germans can, can come here and, and, sell, uh, and sell heat pumps and Greeks can go to Germany and sell uh, insulation, for example, let's say. <laughs> uh, so um, let's take now the, the zero energy building. I, caricat I make a caricature <laughs> and uh, I put just, a, I take the, the Nicosia town hall building that we built it in uh, uh, recently in Nicosia with 10 centimeter of insulation and I take a, um, a hospital in, um, in, uh, in uh, Gen Geneva with uh, 22 um, centimeter of insulation. And uh, in both cases, uh, in, 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 in the cold climate, a triple glazing. In the, in the hot climate, a double glazing of U-value 1.2. Uh, with this, you can see a revolution, <laughs> a, a, a complete uh, inversion of the, of the objectives. In uh, Bern or, or in Oslo, we, we have uh, Lot of uh, still lot of uh, heat demand for heating, 
All, uh, and in Lefkosia or in Athena, we, have a, we still have a, a lot of uh, heat demand for cooling and very, very little for heating. In the same, uh, in Bern or in Oslo, we have a very, very little uh, demand for, for cooling. So after the first step towards low energy buildings, European and, and Greek market engin and engineers have a different problem to solve. So we cannot just copy labels, we cannot just copy solutions. And unfortunately, we don't have a, an objective-oriented uh, uh, thing. Th thought. We have a, a product-oriented thought, and we try to see what pro product will solve my problem. So we, I take a, another project on which I work. It's just it's a, it's a, a standard office building with 50% uh, uh, glazing and uh, it is constructed in Nicosia and I try to simulate it in mild climates and in cold climates uh, with uh, 30 centimeters of insulation in cold climates, uh, 10 in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in, in Cyprus and then I, I use a standard use and I use a correct solar shading for both cases and then I see uh, I, I, ask the, I answer to this question, what ventilation system to reduce energy demand? So in Athena, I have uh, uh, 29 uh, energy needs, uh, seven only for, uh, for seven kilowatt hours is nothing. Uh, if, if you insulate your building, you have solar gains. Uh, and in Oslo, I, I have uh, two kilowatt hours per square meter of cooling, and either I accept to to work with more than 28 degrees, either I put a cooling system. All the high standard companies put a, a, a air conditioning also in, also, in, also in Switzerland. So European mythology says that we need air, air tightness, ventilation control, and heat recovery. It's a must. If you were here last year, you have a representative of Minergy and there was a strong reaction from the public because he tried. Minergy is controlled ventilation with heat recovery. And we don't discuss about that. It's a, it's a fact. And uh, uh, let's uh, say the, how should we solve the problem of ventilation in, in, uh, in uh, cold climate and in the whole climate. Uh, if we see the temp temperature difference uh, in the both cases in summer and in winter, we see that in summer sometimes temperature is higher than the set point, and se uh, sometimes it's uh, lower. And the temperature difference, if you see, we say, ah, oh, Nicosia, Nicosia, 42 degrees. It's only five hours per year which, which we, you can measure 42 degrees. Uh, the, the, the main temperature in summer is about 35, and uh, if we have 26 uh, inside, and this is only for three to five hours, not, and a day has 24 hours, and a, a year <laughs> has not uh, so many years, uh, so many days in, in, uh, with 35. So if you count the, the whole year, then you see that you have a lot of potential on the other, on the other seasons. Uh, and if you take uh, the winter, and if you have an office building during, during the day, you have very low temperature difference of uh, uh, between 5 and 10 degrees also, while in the burnt climate you have always temperature difference between uh, 10 and 20. So you have a, a very high potential of uh, heat recovery in cold climates and um, Qualitatively here, we can say a moderate or low uh, uh, energy, uh, energy savings potential for in, in, in hot climates. Um, but uh, let's uh, do calculation, not just to take a, a, bad, a, a bad tool, uh, calculating month by month uh, the, 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 the mean temperature uh, of the month and calculate the heat recovery potential, but the an hourly an hourly heat recovery so that you can uh, use the real, the real temperature different during the day that you are using the building where you have sun and you have <laughs> solar gains and then you have outside temperature at 15 degrees, for example. And then we can see a, a, a very interesting result. We have a very high potential in, um, in Switzerland and in, uh, and in uh, Oslo and in Cyprus. Uh, we can see with heat recovery, we have a very little uh, gain. And uh, in Greece, we have more gain because there it's more cold. Athens is, more, is colder than, uh, than Lefkosia, so we have more, 
uh, potential for, for heating recovery. And in, in, uh, in uh, Switzerland, we even rise the, the energy demand for cooling <laughs> uh, because of, uh, of heat recovery. There is a way to bypass, but it costs a lot of money and nobody do, does it. Um, so heat recovery reduces 45 to 47 percent energy demand in cold climates and 10 to 14 degrees in mild climates. Uh, but uh, this uh, heat demand, uh, nobody, uh, the, the people who sell heat recovery, they never say the energy. They, they speak about heat demand, but if you, if you use a heat pump to... to Mr. Florez, you have 10 more minutes. Okay. So um, if you have a heat, rec a heat pump uh, recovering 3.5 and then you, you spend, uh, let's say, 3 for primary energy of electricity, uh, you, you have to do this calculation to see the real gain. And you see that uh, if you have a good, uh, a good um, um, uh, he heat or cooling production machine, then you, you are, you, your recovery potential is even less. Uh, and uh, heat recovery is not only ha has not only gains, you have only, uh, always costs, so you have, uh, you have um, primary energy for gray energy. I calculated with the echo invented. It's not so much. It's uh, 1.5 kilowatt hours per square meter for double uh, for uh, heat recovery and uh, 0 0.464 for sing single uh, extraction ventilation. But if I count the fans, how much the fans we, who use electricity, which contains a, a primary energy factor of three, and I use the real primary energy, I need uh, for the best. Uh, funds that exist, a DC fund. I don't know if, if in the Greek market you find this, uh, these funds, but in the Swiss funds, in the in Swiss markets, more or less 50 percent AC funds and DC funds. We, for DC funds, we have seven kilowatt hours of primary energy to run the funds. So if I do my whole calculation, we, what is the cost and what is the, 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 the savings? The, the, I can see that in the mild climates, uh, the savings are more or less the same as the cost. We see that the the, the Swiss or the or the Sweden uh, orientation towards heat recovery it's a it's a good orientation because we always save energy. Uh, the net uh, the net savings are positive. Although in Switzerland it's a more complex question. I show you here. Uh, a building re uh, before renovation and after renovation, and you can see a spectacular reduction of envelope heat, heat losses. Spectacular, but can you see something in this uh, building? In, this, uh, in the first is before, and the uh, second is after, uh, heat uh, after uh, refurbishment. You can, you can see some windows open. Uh, so people are living in their house, so nobody is going to open and close for them, they are going to open and close. So I tried with the thermal camera to identify when it was minus four temperature, out, uh, outside temperature was minus four. You see more, almost 30% of windows are open. And then you can ask yourself, what is the meaning of, uh, of, uh, of uh, air tightness in this case? Uh, and more windows? And uh, according to code uh, calculation, user behavior is evacuated. We have a standard, <laughs> a standard uh, behavior. And, but designers should, make, uh, should take it into account like uh, real consumption does, because real consumption takes into account the, the user behavior. Here I can, see an, uh, I can show another uh, example with blinds. Uh, standard use, the, the codes uh, use blinds, uh, they, they consider blinds down in summer, up in winter, and down when uh, building, uh, uh, when the, there is a black, um, come on, come on the, um, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, glare, yes, excuse me, glare. So the real use, uh, we put uh, um, uh, uh, cameras and uh, we are, show, uh, we are uh, observing uh, like Big Brother for one year, the whole building, every, every quarter of an hour we, we measure we, who opened the window, who, who closed it, and 50, 50 to 70 percent shading summer or winter indifferently. So all the heat, ga heat gains are just theoretical. And, uh, 
80 to 90 percent of users do not use their blinds. They just put it in a, in a position they, and they don't touch it anymore. And in Switzerland, blinds are obligatory. In, in Greece and in Cyprus, not. Um, 1.3 to 2 average blind movements per week is not so much. So real consumption for lighting is higher, solar gains for winter are, are lower, and uh, uh, compared to, to calculations, and we have 30 to 50 percent of uh, glazed area non-shaded. Let's say the, let's take the Hellenic uh, reality about uh, about ventilation. How should we solve the problem? We see that um, uh, heat recovery, net saving potential in primary energy is low and sometimes negative. Sometimes we cannot collect the the energy that we need to run the the, the fans. Uh, but let's take another another uh, ventilation strategy. I take uh, night cooling, and you can see. 30% uh, reduction of uh, energy demand for cooling in the in the um, in the south uh, climates, and I have no no need for cooling in the cold climate. So this is maybe another uh, direction to think about. Uh, so let's take the ideal. We want to construct also our mythology. The ideal ventilation strategies for Hellenic zero energy buildings is in winter ventilation provides air quality, let's say 30 cubic meters per hour per person during the hours of use and the minimum ventilation of 02 cubic meters per square meter outside the hour of use, we reduce it to save energy. In summer ventilation provides air quality uh, in the same conditions, but in summer also ventilation provides night cooling two to four air changes when te external temperature is uh, lower than the internal. And in summer when I have a breeze, uh, air breeze, when this air, air temperature is less than 28 uh, degrees, I, I feel fresh. And But it, when it is over 26 uh, degrees, it cools the user and it hits the, bil it hits the building. So I have uh, some contradictory. So let's find a, a strategy to, to solve all this problem. Uh, we might install a mechanical ventilation with uh, lower flow heat and heat recovery eventually uh, for, for winter and uh, higher flow for summer. Or design natural ventilation able to be manually controlled, taking into account user uh, natural uh, behavior. Why should we evacuate the user if it, it is responsible for the half of the use of energy because the codes uh, cannot uh, take it into account or design automatically control natural ventilation? In, the, in, the, um, in this uh, passive building in uh, Lefkosia, we, we, tried to, we took the, the, um, the orientation to design natural ventilation but giving to the user the possibility to have a, a complete uh, a complete control of his uh, opening. So dissociated the, the light from, uh, from uh, ventilation and we, we, we designed the, the building so we guarantee safety. You can see that it is a protector. No, nobody can enter in the, in, the, in the offices when the windows are open and we provide large opening possibilities. We simulated the, the opening possibilities. It's not just I put some uh, many windows and we try to give to the user a natural way to open his window. He can open just uh, the top window tilted or both uh, uh, top and, and, uh, and bottom windows completely or uh, tilted. It has all the possibilities possible and we can go from 30 to 364 cubic meters per hour of only stack effect without, <laughs> without uh, uh, ventilation. So. Let's think uh, also about uh, set point temperature. Here it is, uh, we have 28, uh, uh, 18, 18 degrees now and everybody feel cold because uh, in our, in our uh, region, uh, air condition is considered as a high standard. So we have to feel cold so that we show that we are rich. But unfortunately, this is not a, 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 a it's a bad show of orientation, in my opinion. And we managed to, to kill this, uh, this, uh, uh, this idea in this uh, passive house in, uh, in Nicosia. How did we kill this uh, idea? We just put a, 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 a fan, a ceiling fan, in addition to the air conditioning. And we explained to the people, we, we did a user manual of the, of the, of the building saying that 
All these problems that we have in our shoulders and the, these headaches is because of temperature differences. And if uh, the people are, are putting 26 or 28 degrees with the fan, they, they, they feel better. And they, and, they, and they tried it and they find it uh, nice and they don't need to put a control behind to, and now uh, in this building the set point is between 66 uh, plus minus one. Uh, only one of the 18, uh, 18 offices has a set point of, uh, of uh, 24. So um, heat, if we take the reality, uh, what we had before and what we have now, and we ask the same question about the heating system, what heating and cooling system do I need? I need very, very little energy for heating in, the, in, in these climates and very, very little for, for cold climates. So we have to, to re-answer to the questions, not just copy what do they do, do we do in Switzerland, and uh, try to, uh, I tried to, <laughs> to simulate, and I, when I was uh, in front of the Cipriot reality about dimension, I, it was really very hard for me. I simulated with the ISO 15255, and they had 50 watt per square meter of uh, sensible uh, heat uh, needs, and the, and the mechanical engineer was proposing 350. And uh, it was very hard to, to convince him to dimension differently, not 2442. Finally, we managed to find a compromise at 135, and we divided by three, the, the, by two, the, uh, the two and a half, the installed power. But uh, if we see the, the, um, the question was, uh, <laughs> heat pump with, uh, he with uh, geothermal or just a normal heat pump which is uh, uh, cheap. And if you see how much energy do I need for, for winter, then you can reconsider you are also your choices about the, the heating system. And uh, we can see that if we oversize there, in the, if you see the COP according to the load, you work with very low COPs, and the, if you search in the market, you can find in the market you can find a just simple VRV with a, a similar uh, COPs as uh, as geothermal because you, you need geothermal uh, for uh, for cooling and not for heating. And if you see how do they heat, they are cooling here, nobody knows to do a cooling with uh, 18 degrees. They uh, they need a cooling with uh, 12 degrees. And if you take the COP. With this temperature, it's just a mythology. So a mythology also about heat distribution. You have to, dist how much do we need to distribute this heating? I didn't found less than uh, 20, 20, 220 watt per room. And I need uh, 20, 200 watt for the heating. I, I need more for the ventilator to distribute my heat in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in this uh, building. So. Conclusion, Hellenic Zero Energy Building Engineers should invent their own mythology. <laughs> they cannot copy it. Uh, the objective is the same. Energy needs less than 40 kilowatts per square meter for heating and cooling and extensive use of renewable energy. A zero energy building is a, uh, is a completely different reality um, of, of the reality we knew up today. Until, until today, you have to really to understand that we have a different animal in, far, in front of us. It's not the same building we knew until now. And we have to open, and, and we have to be open to revisit our rules of thumb. Mechanical engineers, it's a set of 10 rules of thumb, and they do all the, all the work with, with this. They are all, all of them, they are wrong. And for energy, a zero energy building, we have to reinvent and to, to re recalculate it, and, and we will be very good again. And a good technical solution for the Hellenic zero energy building have to be invented. They do not exist, exist just to be imported. So the people who want to import labels, the people who import um, products, maybe some of them are good, but not all of them are good. And before we just sell them to the people, let's ask to some essential question to see if they are good for something. Thank you very much.